Hello, welcome to our Python tutorial series video again. We have used some built-in functions such as print, input, range, etc. in previous video before. I will show you how can we construct a function with Python in this video. So you may ask what is a function? Function is a, like a machine that we can input something in and turn them into something else that we want. For example, we can input bones into this function and it can turn them into cubits or cuboids. In addition, functions can nest each other or result of one function can be input of another function. For instance, as we can see here, input of function f is a result of function g. It's pretty intuitive since the result of function g can be assigned to a variable and the variables can be inputs of a function for sure. We will show you how nest one function to another function in following demos. In Python, functions are a convenient way to divide your code into useful blocks, allowing us to order our code, make it more readable, reuse it, and save some time. Also, functions are a key way to define the interface so that programs can share their codes. Now, let me show you a concrete example over here. Suppose we have a function is y is equal to x cubed. Then we can input a number into the function and it can output x cubed and return as y. Let me show you how it's working in Python. Now first, let me open my notebook. Here I'm going to create another file. Let me call it uh, my function part one. Uh, the video we talked about number in previously, we can say 2 cube or 3 cube say 4 cube so on and so on, uh, so that we can get the result of the cube. However, we have to rewrite our program every time when we calculate. We cannot reuse our program or even share to other programs. So let's define a function and see how it works. First, define is a keyword that we can declare our function. Now let's see cube. Sorry and uh, x is the one we input and then we can see the result is equal to x cube now let's return the result we can run it and now we can reuse this function let's see cube as you can see we got the correct result and we do not have to rewrite the cube operator every time anymore even we can make it more general so that other people can use it we can change this cube function rather than only do a cube calculate we can do power uh, or index um, calculate let's change the name of the function or maybe let's just um, define another function. Let's say um, define, and we can see power, and C, X, and Y is the index. And let's say return. We can return the result directory without a intermediate variable over here. So we can just say X to Y. Now, we can run this function and now let's use this function. Let's say 
um, two to the fourth. Now we got the correct answer over here. So we can reuse those functions without rewrite and uh, we can reuse them as long as we want and share to other people. Now let's go a little bit further. We will develop a sample calculate and demonstrate you to how we can nest one function into another. Uh, we can define several other functions. Let's say define a add function over here, x and y, and we can return the result of the sum and define a subtract function function over here. x, y. In this situation, we will return the x minus 1 and uh, define another functions to do multiplication. Uh, let's say multiplication. We say x and y. Maybe I just change it times uh, just for simply type. And we will say return x times y. And uh, define another function that's called divide. So divide. And say x and y return x divided y and we have the power of calculation over here so we can integrate them all into a function we can call it calculator maybe we can use another cell so let's run it I define another function called calculator Q calculator and say x and y and maybe we shouldn't define a variable says uh, function's name so that we can know which function we should use in following calculation. So here in, I'm going to just define it. a variable says or parameter says method. Now we can review our if else statement over here. Let's say if method is equal to Add. then we will return the result of the addiction says x and y else if method is equal to times then we will return the result of uh, multiplication and return return times x x and y and else if uh, we can see the subtract or minus let's say method is equal to sub we so that easy to type and then return subtract x and y lastly we have Divide method is equal to divide. Maybe just say yeah. Return divide is equal to x and y. We will use the above functions and the next over here. And uh, what do we got here? Yeah. We have power function over here, which is uh, quite useful. Yeah, save, mustard. So what other functions we got? I think we have power function over here. And I think it might be useful, so we can add it over here. And uh, we will see else if 
mod third is equal to power. And then we will return the result of power. Say x and uh, y. Maybe sometimes users may not enter the method incorrectly. So we have to remind the users to input correct or method or give them information. So here let's just simply say else and print. Say please input correct method methods. Alright, now let's run it. Okay. Now let's test it. Add maybe result one. Let's say just RE1. It's equal to calculator 20 plus 25. And the method we're going to choose add. And we print the um, result. See, it's correct. And we can use other um, functions without rewrite above functions. And we can try another one. Let me say, yes, recalculate. Two. We can say two. And in this case, let's say maybe sub. See? 20 minus um, 25 is equal to minus 5, and which is correct. And of course, we can go through those methods one by one. Uh, maybe I can go another one. Let me say uh, uh, here, maybe say divide. Say result 3. OK, it's also correct. And uh, also what we got, the power. Uh, let's use a relative small number. We can say 4. four. Oh, not divide, sorry. Uh, we should say power over here. See? Yeah, it's a huge number. And OK, our calculator is uh, finished. Maybe we can go a little bit further and we can wrap our calculator function as a Python file and uh, so that other users can use it more naturally way. Let me do it. In this case, I'm going to do parchan. I will create a Python file over here. Let me see uh, the calculator. And now we can copy all those functions from our notebook. This one, okay. And uh, these other functions. We can format our code a little bit. Now, in order that other users can use it more naturally, we will wrap it in. Let's say while true, make it always to run, which is a forever loop. Uh, true is a bully variable, and we quite use it very often. A bully um, variable is only got two. One is uh, true, another one is false. And each one of is uh, represent a status. In this case, if we say while is true, then we got uh, we will remind users to input the numbers and methods. So we here we're going to say factors and then input. And we will remind our users say please input numbers and the master method name. Split, split with a uh, uh, white space. Let's say it's just space. Okay, so we have to split the factory into a list. So uh, we can say uh, fact factors. We can reassign the result to factors again. So we can do it in this way: factors, 
split with a um, okay. Now, if the first element, sometimes when we already finished the calculation, so we want to uh, close the calculator so we can see factors. The first um, element is equal to maybe say uh, close or exit. Then we will break out the uh, while loop, then it will be finished. Otherwise, we will go to the calculate function. To make it simple, here we assume all the numbers are going to be integers, so we'll convert all the number into integers. So let's we can say in this way, factor 1 is uh, int, this will be x, and y will be the second element. Second element, I will say convert and factor second element and the third element will go to be the name of the method say uh, int factors the third element we can say the result print the result out Okay, format a little bit. Now let's go into test it. Let's say two, three, no, three and add. We got an error over here. When you meet those kind of error, do not panic. Just read the those kind of uh, information. It will give you a hint. You have to read those kind of and make correct your program in the future. This is a, a very basic uh, skills when you do your own program. So here it says uh, we cannot uh, convert add into integer. Sorry, in this case I should not uh, do the coercion. So let's say will that work now? Now let's say two, three add. See it's work now. We should. Uh, delete this print and uh, rerun it now we can say two three and times as you can see the outcome is as we expected uh, we can do it again in this case we can say 20 plus 15 and add and also we can do divide etc and we can also exit, I think. See, program is uh, uh, exit and it's finished. Sometimes we may want to run those our Python files, uh, our command line. Let me show you how we can do it. Uh, first, let me find the file location. Okay, my file is over here. So um, we go to this path. Um, PyCharm project. We can go to this folder and run our Python file. We can close this IDE. Sometimes IDE is just to heaven when we actually use Python or run the Python programs we do not run on top of IDE. So we can open a command line and we can change our folder to project folder. In, which is this folder and uh, we can see the file list over here and we can run the calculator which is cal.py now we can uh, use our calculator over here we can see two three and see it's work and uh, we can see two times two divide by three divide say it's work and we can exit it okay that's all enough for a python function and uh, see you next video bye bye